After nearly a decade of negotiations, South Korea and Canada have signed a free trade agreement to deepen the links between the two countries. They also boost their ties to a strategic partnership. North Korea's abysmal human rights record will be addressed at the ministerial level for the first time at the UN General Assembly in New York on Tuesday local time. China is running away with the lead in the overall medal count at the Incheon Asian Games. South Korea remains in second with 14 golds. All eyes are on whether Korea's main swimming hope Park Tae-wan can beat his Japanese rival Kosuke Hagino in tonight's 400-meter freestyle final. Plus, Apple smashes its sales record for an opening weekend of a new iPhone model delivering 10 million iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus in the first three days alone. We'll be back with a full newscast in one hour's time.